Yellow folks, it's Rich here in the obligatory Puma hoodie. <laughs> uh, for those who don't know me, I'm a novice guitarist. Please note that's important. And I've had 123 guitars, <laughs> lots of budget ones and some more expensive ones. So I kind of got a good feel for what's what, I suppose. Stag have very kindly loaned me several of their guitars to do a, re a review, which is really nice of them. And that's all based around the fact that I'm just a novice guitarist and perhaps having had so many budget guitars from Harley Benton and Squire and all sorts, that it might be useful to somebody. So, if you'd like some more Stag reviews, there are more on the channel, they'll be on the playlist, so please have a look at those. There are other reviews on other guitars as well, so please take a look at that if you'd like it also. So what have we got here today? Well, we have got an SET Plus Nat, Nat for Natural. It's a T-style guitar. Can we say Telecaster? I just did, didn't I? So what have we got? We've got a Paulina. I've pronounced that properly, body. It's very light, this guitar, 2.5 kilos. It's got a string through, yeah, and all these ferrules are completely even, yep, and look good. Recessed, so sorry, bolt on neck with a, a really good sort of cutaway there so you can get to higher access to the 22 frets that it has. It's a roasted maple neck quite subtle but yeah it's a roasted maple neck some no name inexpensive tuners bone nut bone nut which has got no sharp heels and seems to be cut reasonably well there are no sharp fret ends the tooling marks on the fret ends as with all the stags I've tried look pretty grim but they always do on squires and others as well so that's nothing different there the frets are a bit mucky in truth yep they could really do with a polish and the strings on this i don't know how old this particular guitar is i mean it's, it's presumably it's pretty new but um the strings have rusted a little bit they're a bit they could do to be replaced but it looks very pretty you could use your three-way selector which is a touch flimsy and push pull for your humbucker so you've got some nice nice specs there really uh, it's say it does feel very light now i for those who might be interested in playing standing up sorry i should have tuned it first let's do that now uh, i have put a strap around it to see if there's any neck dive come on juna wake up and whilst it doesn't dive it sits pretty much perpendicular to the ground it's teetering on it's teetering on that dive wow still in tune from when i last played it that's good so yes so that's the first thing let's put the amp on whoop yep so i say stag of loan these to me so uh, they're not paying me for it in fact it cost me because i had to drive and pick them up it cost me fuel <laughs> so yeah, I'll just say how I think it is and what I think they're like compared to other things I've tried. So we are on the clean channel of my Vox AV15 amp. Tone knob, I'm a stickler for a tone knob working. That graduates nicely, that's a very usable tone knob. The neck on this is, uh, I really like it actually, it's not too chunky, it's not too thin, it's just right. <laughs> what does just right mean? This, this, this could be any squire you picked up. It's, um, it's not as chunky as a Fender Telecaster or a Fender Strat. This feels more like the thing they should get on an, on an Affinity. I say an Affinity, an older Affinity, the new ones which are more like a, a Squire standard nowadays have gone a bit chunkier. So the older, older affinity or uh, even a bullet, really. So very nice. So if you're a beginner or someone with smaller hands, you're gonna have no issues with this. So. Got slightly out of tune. Now, I will say that with these dull strings, this does sound a bit more dull than I imagine it should do. Twenty 
22 frets on a 25 and a half inch scale. So the middle position is going to feel or sound quite different to a, a regular telly because you've got the humbucker here. So let's split it. See if that sounds a bit, more, a bit more like the middle position. It does actually. And the humbucker. Now, one thing I noticed on this. Unlike the SES 60, which is the strat style with the humbucker, is the humbucker on here is significantly louder than the neck. Now I guess I, you could drop that humbucker down a bit to try and help that. Uh, doing some bends you can feel that the frets are mucky, it doesn't feel smooth, same with the strings. So we give it the benefit of the doubt that um, some new strings can make a, a decent difference, which I'm sure it would. These, you pick these up, 140, 170 pounds. So it's right in squad bullet range. Overdrive channel. So, my quick takeaway on this, I think it's great value for money. I do. Uh, it's, it's comfortable, it's light, it's got some good tones to it. If you have to very traditional telly sounds, then you're not quite here with this because of course you've got a humbucker. But if you want something a bit more modern and something with a bit more bite and oomph in the bridge, then this is definitely the way to go. Is it worth the kind of 150-ish pounds mark? Hell yeah, absolutely it is. Would I have this over a Squire Bullet telly? Yes, I would, for sure. It's just got so much more about it. I say, give those frets a polish, and even if you're a beginner, that's not that's not a tricky thing to do. Once the strings are off, whether it's some wire wool or we can get a graphite rubber, it looks like a pencil eraser, but it's for, for, uh, for frets. Give them a bit of a clean, have some new strings on it. You know, you're, you're laughing, really. The tuners are okay, but you know, comparable to other guitars of this kind of price range. And in some ways, if you've seen the other review on the SES 60, which I know is a Strat style guitar with a humbucker in it, I think these pickups suit this guitar and this guitar plays a bit nicer than that one does. So I know Tele Strat, totally different thing, but if you're just generally on a budget guitar with some versatility, you know, humbucker core split, something that looks nice, for me, this one wins out over the SES 60. I thought it feels like a, yeah, a bit better value for money and a, and, and, a, and a nicer playing guitar. So yeah, well done to Stag on that. And like all their other guitars at the moment, look, the, the Stag head logo is kind of a bit hidden out of view. So if you're a headstock warrior or you don't, or you, I don't know if you know, you haven't got a huge amount of cash to spend and you don't want to feel, dare I say, it, you know, almost embarrassed. I can't afford an expensive guitar, which is crazy, but you know, people do, don't they? Um, it's hidden away, you can't really tell. And I think this logo looks really cool. So there we go. 
that's the SET uh, plus NAT, NAT for natural, wonderful T-style guitar.